Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to try out one of the like literally million makeup pins that I have pinned to my Pinterest. Um, also, I'll link my Pinterest down below if you want to give me a follow. I pin tons of makeup, fashion, hair stuff, healthy food, stuff like that. So if you're interested, I'll leave that link down below. But yeah, today I wanted to try one of the makeup looks that I have pinned and it's this one right here. So it's mostly browns, tans, I really like the cut crease, the lashes, the lip. My skin is washed and prepped and moisturized and I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. Oh, yeah, like this is literally after the primer. Like I look like I just got out of a swimming pool. Like, I'm sorry. Selena, you did it, sister. Okay, now we're going in with foundation. I also used this in my last video. It's my current fave. It's a MAC Studio Radiance, and I am the shade N2. I mean, it's kind of a lie, because I'm still, this is still a little bit too dark for me, but I'm just gonna roll with it. It's about to be spring, summer. I'll get a little bit more tan, it'll be fine. I think I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna try to do like just one like coat or whatever. If it's too sheer, I'll add a second one, just because I don't wanna look too tan compared to my neck. This was one coat. I'm just gonna take some concealer to like spot conceal any blemishes I have, but I'm going for a really strong bright under eye today. So I'm gonna use my NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum in the shade Vanilla. This stuff went viral and I was lucky enough to get it before my shade sold out because it is that good. Like, it's so good and I'm doing a lot. I mean, I look crazy because it's also on my eyelashes, but yes. And really quickly, I'm just gonna lightly set with my uh, Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder, and this is the shade Oat Translucent. Now I'm gonna do my brows with my Refi Brow Sculpt, and now I'm gonna take my Hula Bronzer and heavily bronze my face because that's how it is in my reference photo. So I'm gonna do my cheekbones, forehead, jawline, everything okay and for blush i'm gonna go in with my refi beauty cream blush it's like a lighter pink in the shade rose here's what it looks like nice and messy and in the reference photo so i normally just do my blush like right here and stop so i just really do it on my cheekbone i don't know it's just what i think looks best on me makes my face look nice and lifted but in the reference photo she brings it like over here so that's what i'm going and this blush is very buildable so I start out with a little bit because it is super pigmented and then I'll just go back in and add more and blend it because you can really see how pigmented it is. It's so pretty though. Okay, and here it is done and I actually really like it. I feel like it kind of brings out my jaw, my, um, not my jawline, my cheekbone even like more so than how I normally do it. So this is a learning experience for me. On to the fun part, the eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to use tape just for that nice, precise, I need a mirror for this. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do first is, okay, I will re base my lid with, uh, I'm just taking my Tarte Lip Palette um, in Bloom. It's like my most loved palette, I don't mind the broken mirror. In the shade Flower Child, and I'm just going to re-powder my lid for a nice base. Oh my God, this tape is so uncomfortable. I have to do this quick, I can't do this. Okay, and I'm gonna take, I think Rebel for my inner here and then I'll cut crease it out so it looks like the picture and then I'm gonna go over it with leader the darker brown shade because it's pretty dark I think I'm gonna take this brush it's my elf blending eye brush and it's okay if it looks like crap because like I said we're gonna cut our crease over it so it doesn't have to look Perfect. Okay, so I did the other eye. Okay, now I'm going to do the, my armpits are sweating, the outside wing. I'm gonna switch. I just dropped that. 
I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna go in with this tapered blending brush with that same lighter brown shade, and then I'm gonna gradually get darker with it. Just going up along the tape. My contacts are so dry, I cannot see. I'm gonna take a uh, smaller brush. I don't know what kind this is. It's by Luna Magic. It's just this small, oops, just this small, whatever brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade Activist on my palette. It is a dark brown. And we're gonna go closer to the lash line with this. And up. Okay, did the other side. <sighs> Trusting the process. Um, okay, now I'm gonna go in with my cut crease and we're basically go all over the lid because it's like a very light tan nude shade on the base of the lid. For that, I'm going to take this little brush. I also don't know what it is, it's from Walmart. And I'm just gonna take my concealer and basically carve out the shape that I'm looking for. Okay, I just carved it out. Really what I'm looking for, I'm going to set this with a translucent powder and then we will do a nude shadow over top. So what she has is like a light nude sparkly shade. So I'm gonna go in with my funny girl, this shade with my finger, I guess. And just put it over where I just put all of that concealer. Might need a lot. That looks pretty good to me, honestly. So she has like a harder crease and I kind of took that away. So I'm just gonna take this, should I take this? Maybe I'll take this brush. This little like lip pencil brush or whatever the fuck this is, small angle brush. I'm just gonna go in with a darker brown shade to get that chiseled cut that I'm looking for. I'm doing the best I can here. Okay, that's good enough for me. And I'm just gonna go over my wing again because I kind of covered it up with sealer. And on camera. Okay. What should I do now? Should I take the tape off of this eye? Mm, let's see how it looks. Okay, I think I will. Big reveal. Let's do it together. Oh no, I was taking my makeup off. I think I have to put more makeup on there. I don't know, what do you guys think? All right, I'm gonna do the other eye and BRB. Okay, I finished the other eye and I did a winged liner and brought it to the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm just going to do a coat of mascara and put on some lashes. I'm using my Sky High Mascara. Okay, mascara on, and while that dries, I'm gonna cut my lashes. I'm gonna cut them in half and place them one on top of the other on my outer corner of my eye. She has like a really strong cat eye effect going on, and this will give me that. I'm using the Ardell lashes in the number 421. And I'm, like I said, I'm just gonna cut them in half, and then I will be placing them one on top of the other. Okay, so for my lashes, when I cut them in half, I went like like six or seven little like bundles in so that the lash that I'm putting on first is longer. And here's what it looks like. And I'm just gonna let that dry, do the other eye, and we will be moving on. Okay, my lips are a little red and irritated, but that's fine. I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury 
lip cheat, lip liner, and iconic nude. I'm out of breath. I just walked up the steps, that was it. And my Becca lipstick in sugar. I just really like this combo. I need to sharpen my pencil, BRB. All right, now we're talking sharp and pointy. I love overlining my lips. I think that I have really small lips and it's an insecurity of mine, so I overline them every time. My lips look crazy. Like I said, they're red and irritated right now, so ignore. And that lip is good enough for me. I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more blush because I'm really liking it right here. And I think I'm gonna fill in a few brow hairs. I'm just taking my NYX Lift and Snatch eyebrow pen. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, I'll do the other one. Okay, finished, that looks good to me. I'm just gonna go in with my setting mist. Okay, and here is the finished look. It's not as close to the reference photo as I wanted. I have to work on my cut crease and also maybe just getting colors that are more similar to what she used. But overall, I'm really happy with it. I think the lashes add so much to it. I really love that trick, like cutting them in half and then stacking them one on top of the other. It really gives that cut eye effect so nice. And I just went over with powder on the areas where I was starting to get shiny. And then I kind of chiseled out my cheekbone as well. But yeah, I, I think it looks really nice. To be honest, I'm really happy with it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until next time, bye.